What's up everyone and welcome back to Pass or Play. This time we're going to take a look at a new release instead of the old games we've been covering and that is Scarlet Nexus, developed and published by Bandai Namco. Uh, this is a new release, it came out the end of June, so what did I think of it? Well, I loved it. This game is fantastic, let me tell you. So for anyone that doesn't know, Scarlet Nexus is a, a JRPG the cut, it doesn't have cut scenes per se, it's more told through a uh, visual novel. You get these little cut-ins uh, boxes that tell a story that way. The combat puts you in the role of Yuito or Kasane. There are two storylines to this game. And I would say it's reminiscent of Fire Emblem Three Houses, if you play that, where you pick a protagonist and you see their side of the story and you have to play the others to get their side. So there are shared events that you will often see but sometimes you have to, you, you don't really know what Kasane is going on with Yuito or even their shared events. They see things differently. You don't catch everything that's going on. It really does take two playthroughs to get through. And I'm really glad I actually played through it because it makes the story a lot more enjoyable. You know, one story is fine. If you only have time or interest in playing the one story, that's fine. You can get everything you need to know. There is a recap once they... Uh, at the end of the game to kind of give you an idea of what happened on the other side but if you have the time if you have the interest I highly recommend playing both and experiencing both because I do think it makes the story better it does make the character better and speaking of characters I think this is where this game really shines the characters are phenomenal except Luca I don't like Luca he is boring he's not a good character but for the most part, 95% of the characters in this game are really great, and it does have uh, persona-esque relationship building, where you have to give them gifts, you have to go on a little cutscene dates with them, and it really does flesh out side characters, your party members. It really makes the game more enjoyable. For someone that is a big JRPG fan, that's a fan of those types of games, I would say if you like relationship-based stuff, definitely check this out. It's really enjoyable. It's a lot of fun. It, the characters are great themselves and the story is really good. So, Now, the gameplay. What does it play like? We say it's a JRPG, that can mean a lot of things. It can mean turn-based, it can mean uh, you know, strategy like Fire Emblem, but this is an action RPG. And the closest thing I could think to compare it to is if you take Control and meets Devil May Cry because you have the hack and slash action combat, but then you have the uh, psychokinesis powers from control. You can fling stuff. You can combine your powers with your party members. You can become hard as a rock and take no damage. You can add fire. You can add electricity. You can slow down time. You can teleport. It's these things and the combination of all these powers together that makes the combat so satisfying. It makes it a lot, so much fun to play. Um, now, I 100% of this game, so obviously I love it. I think it's great. I do think there are faults with this game. I do think there is uh, a tad too much storytelling at times, or certainly for some of these side events. I think that the gifts, uh, gift system and relationships can be a lot better. You have to craft for gifts, um, which often requires you to go out and grind for materials if you don't have materials. But also, every time you give a gift, you have to sit through a little animated cutscene and that just wastes time. Like, I want to do other things. It, make, it weighs down the experience. Let me give them the gift and move on. Let me give them multiple gifts, gifts at once. So, I think there's room for improvement. I do think that the uh, party system, I would have loved to have been able to switch and actually play as the other characters. I, I understand why I can't do that. Maybe, maybe that's something for a, a sequel, if it gets a sequel. But I, I really think the game would have benefited from being able to switch to your other party members, like in Tales of, because this is developed by the Tales of Asperia team over at Bandai. So just a little just a little food for thought there. I don't think it ultimately hurts the game. I think the game is fantastic. I think it has two good protagonists. I, I prefer Yuito a little more than Kasane. So if you're listening and you're not sure who to go with, maybe go with Yuito. Now, the game in terms of achievements, if you if you care about those things, or trophies if you're a PlayStation guy, uh, very easy. You can get, there's only one that requires grinding and you, there is a trick to grind. You can, you can level up very quickly doing this uh, exploit that you can find online. So it's a very easy 100% platinum that I actually get, you know, this is, this is literally my second game ever. So if that tells you that I enjoyed it, then 
you know, I, I did. So I, I think overall it's a great first entry in a new series, hopefully. I hope this isn't the end of Scarlet Nexus. I think that the combat and gameplay itself is so good and satisfying that a lot of people will enjoy it. But I also think that the anime and uh, visual novel cutscene style could turn a lot of people off to it but I, I implore you stick through it the story is a little anime obviously but the character the world building and the gameplay are really worth sticking it out for so if you can if you can do that I highly recommend checking it out and for me Scarlet Nexus is going to get a 7.5 out of 10 I, I think that the music gets a little repetitive. There's not enough tracks to go through everything. You often hear the same thing over and over again. You hear the dialogue uh, cues over and over again. You can tell that this is the game didn't have a major budget because there is some pop in um, as you're running through the draw distance, whether it was intentional or not. There is uh, not a great draw distance, even playing on the next gen consoles, but the next gen consoles do play a 4K 60. So, it is a good performance measure. You know, it looks beautiful, the art style is fantastic, and the gameplay is amazing. So I highly recommend this game. Like I said, 7.5. If you can get it on sale, that's great. I just think everyone should not write this off as some sort of weird uh, JRPG. If you, if you don't like JRPGs, fine. But if you do, we can't, we need to show them that Xbox wants these type of games. So I implore you, go out, pick up Scarlet Nexus, you'll thank me later. Now, that's all I got. I'm Kevin, aka The Muffin Mon, and this is my review for Project X Talk on Scarlet Nexus, so hope you like it. Bye.